Hey, look at these spider webs. Just kidding, they're not spider webs. These are silkworm nests. And uh, silkworms, they create silk. And these are their homes. Wow. Well spoken. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> no sarcasm? No. Okay. No, I, I don't like these. Yeah, and you they, like them. I mean, yeah, I like them because I know what they are and they're not spider webs. So, kind of cool. Uh, I don't see any so I just know from the Indiana Dunes area. That's where we first saw them, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of them in Indiana. Spin around and take a big curve. It might look better with high quality video. Well, we've had a good time. Yeah, that yeah, was a good one. We, uh, it didn't end up being two and a half miles. We probably cut it short. But we got 1.65 miles in the hike today, uh, which is fine because we need our rest. Uh, to do two hikes tomorrow, Sarv Rock and like Takashi Woods or something like that. The east side of Starv Rock. Yeah. The trail's less traveled. So what else you got? Took us an hour. We stopped a lot. Learned a lot. The plaques, the were, plaques. were very informative. The windmill that had the water pumping for no apparent reason by the covered wagon was later explained at a different location that actually that water should have been filling a trough so that cow cattle can drink. That made more sense. These things are not obvious to uh, city boys. That's right. That's why we do these walks. I'm going to look up st st Street Sweeper no. now. <laughs> <laughs> One of the fun things that we have on these hikes is we get into crazy conversations like the, what was the, the shrimp with the eyes? The mantis Mantis. Shrimp. It's a mantis shrimp, right. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started on no mantis shrimp. Yeah. Tune into our mantis shrimp videos from the Chicago Botanic Gardens. That's right. So this parking lot is set up to see a lot of vehicles. I guess that's July and August. They got maps, maps over there. Probably should have grabbed one. I don't see, oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm very satisfied. There are a couple of parks in this area, but this is definitely a good one. I'm so impressed with all this south side, mm -hmm. all these big open lands. It's nothing like up by the Channel Lake area, which has big open lands, but that's much more habitable, human habitable. This is all these down here, these prairies and wetlands, are much more animal habitable. But it's just so much that I didn't know existed. So, come on down, learn something like we are. Thanks for tuning in.